Hi, thanks for joining me today. My name is Carrie Waltz. I share tips, tools, and techniques for the artist in you. Today's focus is a small demo that I did to go in my notebook for Pastel Live, Vera Kabura. I believe is how you say her name. Uh, she's from Ukraine. She shared her way of painting irises and she paints flowers that are just amazing. So I will try to add her link in the show notes and check her work out because she's really incredible. She also um, is suffering from her country at war. So keep her in your prayers, please. Hope today's short video will entertain you and teach you something. And please give me a thumbs up if you learn anything and subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching. See you next week. This is one of the videos that uh, <clears throat> I'm experimenting with for Pastel Live. And I'm reserving these two pastel, uh, new pastels to do the background. Uh, I'm debating on whether, whether to do it now or not. Hmm. No, I'm going to paint it first, then do this. So we'll see how it goes. I have really enjoyed these uh, disposable palettes that I have actually clipped to a clipboard. There's so, so many bits because I can reuse this paint because it's gouache. And I've just had a lot of fun with it. So I'm looking at some irises that are very, very purple and pinkish in tone. And I only have one tone of purple with my gouache and uh, that's actually a pretty close color to what's there so I'm just going to do a very quick laying in of this that's not it's not bad try to use the directional strokes so it, you get the feel of the uh, iris it's a lot darker right in here just try to throw those in Looking, looking at a reference that's on my television, so it's not right next to me. I can't show you the reference, but I'll post this finished picture next to what I'm doing instead of the reference because I don't have rights to the reference. I'm painting on a, um, I'm painting on a watercolor board, uh, excuse me, watercolor paper that has been treated with a uh, clear gesso. I wanted it with clear gesso so I could add the um, pastel to it at the end and I'm experimenting with a variety of things I actually added color pencils on the last one that I did and we shall see how it, how it goes so this particular petal is very very dark so I'm going to add a little blue to that mixture it's a little darker in through there Now that I'm doing this, I'll probably regret not doing the <laughs> background first. Okay, what if I stop right now and do the background? Lay that in. Let me at least finish this flower. Okay, this flower is very dark right behind this other other one. So I'm going to, if I want to narrow, uh, and that, that petal's flipping around. So let me rinse the brush off and get the original violet that I started with and that's actually a leaf but yeah it looks kind of weird so I'm just going to make that the back of that petal artist prerogative yep sometimes you need to use it okay I'm just going to leave that the way it is and I'm going to lay in break this because I need it smaller like I said this has grit in it so I'm just going around all of the irises and uh, the negative space in between let's see that's not negative I uh, have to see what's negative and what's not let's see that hmm don't think I quite drew it exact, but I'm going to make that the background. You can always put something else over it. I did not include all the all the flowers that were in her demo. Did not want to be that tedious of a painting. And that particular one that I just did went really fast. So I'm thinking, hmm, 
maybe I should have. Okay, so I, I took out a whole bunch of flowers, so I'm going to, that's, I just left that as, as a, um, ooh, that's darker than I wanted. I'll just do it toward the bottom. See, isn't that crazy? That looks, that looks lighter than this one, but it came across darker. Weird. All right, well, let's lighten it up a little bit. This one seems even lighter. Let's see, I just don't want it all one, one green. And when I wet this with alcohol, it's going to get a lot darker. So, I don't know. This may or may not be a good idea. But y'all get to see the process. All right. This will do. This is just rubbing alcohol. Some people use the 90%. This is just the 70% uh, alcohol that I get at the drugstore. It sets, it dissolves the pastels. These are just inexpensive new pastels that um, come in a box that, that looks like this. This is part of the 24 set. And I was trying to limit my choices on this note-taking adventure that I'm on so that, oh, see how that gets much darker, so that I could quickly lay in a picture that the artist was demoing, and then I can refer to the photograph, I mean the picture, not the photograph, because I don't have the photographs copied. I could refer to the picture when I look at my notes to remind myself what the artist did. Now, the clean hands would be helpful. See, it doesn't come off. It's set. This is gouache, so it's not going to come off anyway unless I re-wet it. If I re-wet it, like my brush is slightly wet right now, I can lift that off because it it will um, reactivate. And so I have to be careful of that. That's blue that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to dig out a little purple. Paint's a little dry. So I'm going to mix that purple and that blue together to make this really dark blue. I'm coming back and adding some some of that with the ripples and the interior of this is darker so I want to show that and a little bit of that right there I'm trying to do some directional strokes so that um, and my cat just joined me hi Riley no you stay over there thank you you can hear her crawling around. I already fed her, and I cleaned the litter, so she doesn't have anything to complain about. That doesn't mean she won't. Okay, this next part is a pink um, colored iris. I didn't quite clean my brush out as thoroughly as I could have, so I have a little purple in it. But it's okay because irises have such different colors on their uh, petals as they bend and twist that I'm just going to try to use that to my advantage. I want a little brighter pink. Might have to get that with the pastel later. And what's crazy about this one, the interior, um, well, I think that was actually part of that one. Oops. See, you can, you can cover up that background. Um, the interior of this petal is so different from the bottom petal. The bottom petals of this don't even look like they belong to that flower, so... I'm changing it. I'm going to just make it make it as though they, they belong. That's just my... That's what I'm going to do. Hi, <laughs> Hi Riley. She's just sitting there. She's sitting down to the side of me watching. From the, I have a little couch that's in my studio. So 
I'm going to add this kind of purplish blue to the bottom because it, it's more of a reddish purple. Let's, let's go with a little, a little more reddish purple on that. But the, um, the original demo for this particular flower is so, so detailed. It had so many flowers in it that it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to do that many. I'm not going to, not going to try it uh, that detailed that's this small. Yeah, I like the brightness that that gave me. And this is just, I didn't even get it all drawn out. This is a... Uh, Part of a bud. I'm not. I'm not seeing all of it in the picture, but that's okay. Again, when I really work on irises, I'll have a picture right next to what I'm working on. What I'm looking at is kind of far away from me. It's on my television, which is kind of big, but I have to look down to paint. Sorry trying to uh, pay attention to what I'm doing and I'm not necessarily uh, documenting in verbal form what's happening. Okay, here's the stem to this one. Put that up there. And that'll continue here. What I like, see what I'm doing here, this this gouache was dry from yesterday, so I'm just getting my brush damp, and I'm re-wetting it to use again. Now, it's not very thick, so if I already had something down there, it um, might not cover it very well, but that's okay. Uh, I don't have any long iris iris leaves in this picture so i'm just going to add some what artist prerogative artist license i'm going to do one that's bent over here goes behind we'll change colors maybe have yellow on the top don't want it to all be the same some of the uh, branches, I mean, the uh, stems are very yellow-green in the photo that I have, so we shall see how it turns out. Now, this, I'm going back to my purple, the purple that I did this first one. Uh, I, I'm just laying my brush kind of sideways. Now, let me get a little more on there. That purple might be a little dry. Okay, pick up a little blue in it because it's dark in through here. And I just kind of wiggle my brush a little bit. And it is so dark. Behind there. Comes out over here. So sorry for the abrupt stop. I didn't know my camera had stopped. But now, with this finished, I am ready to put it in my notebook and continue my documentation of Pastel Live. Thanks for joining me today. If anything was helpful, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Have a good day.